Hi, my name's Lawrence Rankliffe. You know how annoying it is that when you go to print something, there's no paper in the printer. And even more annoying, there's no paper in the, uh, in the cupboard underneath the printer. And that's the use case that we've applied to our Salesforce of Things. Hi, my name's Doug Murray. I'd like to introduce you to our Salesforce of Things. Here we have our printer connected to our um, software sensing device to work out this paper or not, hooked to our Arduino, which is also connected to our scales. We have the Salesforce proxy sitting in between the Arduino and Salesforce with some monitoring software as well coming from the Arduino. We have a handheld device here so people can see the state of the nation on there. And on our PC we actually have the Salesforce application itself. Okay, so now we're going to print a page and make the paper go out. So we hit the button to print the page. Hit the printer start up. It'll take its page. The printer's now out of paper. We come across here to the proxy and you'll see that it's receiving a message in from the printer saying it's out of paper. It's now set that to Salesforce and it's come back as OK. We come along to a handheld device. If we refresh this page, you will see that it is now out of paper as of this particular time. Come around to the Salesforce environment. If we press F5, you'll see that we have the offline reason now is paper out. And if we scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see the icon has changed to red behind the covers. We come down, you will see that we have now a new service request being raised this particular second. And the service request says that the closest paper store is LSF0CLO, which is on the ground floor, three meters away and has three rooms of paper. So it has all the details there for Peter Paper to come along and fix our printer. Now I've been a paper and I've been sent to the store cupboard as I was told to in my case. I can see the three rooms here. I'll take one off the pack. And now you see on here, there are now two rooms of paper. Across on the uh, proxy, you'll see it now says there's two rooms of paper. The detail comes through the, the logging. We come around to the Salesforce environment. And if we press the refresh key here, F5, you'll see that it's now come down to current levels of two. Okay, now Peter Paper, I'll have the paper in my hand. Let's reload the paper into the printer. So we go into here, put the paper back in there, close it up. And now you should see that on the Arduino, it says the printer now has paper. And you'll see the log on the uh, system there saying the same things. We come back to the uh, iPhone device, we refresh that page. You also see now that the printer is back and going. We come back to the Salesforce instance, and if we refresh the page, hit F5, you'll see that it's now back online. And if we look at the case that we just had before as well, the service request, you see it's now automatically closed the paper request because it's now got paper.